Hey everyone, and thanks for jumping back into the Cryptoverse. Today, we're gonna to talk about Chainlink, the light when the markets are bearish. If you guys like the content, make sure you subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, and also check out the Telegram channel, which you can find a link to in the description below, which you can find a link to. Um, let's go ahead and jump in. So, Link has, I, look, it did not have a great 2021. I understand that. People have been giving me a hard time about that for a long time. And that's fine, you know, I mean, that, that's completely fine because uh, compared to a lot of other cryptocurrencies, Link did not really perform that well in 2021. But one of the things that we, we asked ourselves back in 2019 and 2020 was that we know Link does well when Bitcoin is bearish and when Bitcoin is going sideways, but we do not know what Link will do when Bitcoin is bullish. We now have the question answered, right? I mean, like if, if we didn't know before, all questions are put aside now, right? If Bitcoin is bullish, Link Bitcoin is most likely going to bleed, okay? So we'll just put that in our toolkit and store it away. Bitcoin's bullish, Link Bitcoin's likely gonna bleed. Now, about three months ago, I put out a video saying, uh, it was called Digging Deep, right? And you can see at the time, the link valuation against Bitcoin, this is what we were looking at, right? We were looking at this, at this you know, kind of ping pong action going up and down. That might've actually been on a log scale, which is maybe why it looks like this, or I was just looking at the, the closes. But if you go look at it today, okay, so let's pull up, pull up what it looks like today. So this is what it looks like on a, on a linear scale. And one of the things we were talking about is that, again, this is just shifted to a log scale when I was looking at it on here, is that we should, by the, you know, either the end of 2021 or early 2022, we should be able to break out of here, okay? And, and that was what we were hoping, right? Is that, you know, hopefully Bitcoin will do something that will give Link the opportunity to, to finally make a breakout. And, you know, you can see that we actually have broken out. I mean, we have broken out up to the upside. If we look at it on a log uh, scale, that's what it looks like. So I guess we have to we have to shift it to maybe look like that. So even if even if you looked at the market like that, you could argue that we we've still broken out even on a, on a log scale. Now, of course, we would like to see weekly closes. I mean, we don't want it to just be a wick. And you should be aware that wicks can happen. <laughs> we've seen wicks happen many times in, in crypto where it seems like something's breaking out and then it comes all the way back down to earth. So it could just be a wick if, you know, if, if the market nukes again and Link is, is taken down with it. But there is at least a, a decent chance here, I would say, that, that Link is, is finally seeing some nice move back up to the upside with regards to its valuation against Bitcoin. Okay, now its valuation against the US dollar, of course, is still leaving a lot to be desired, okay? Because if you actually go look at this video back in October, I mean, Link was at $27. Okay, today, Link is uh, just below $27. But back then, Bitcoin was at $54,000. And today, Bitcoin is at $42,000. So Bitcoin has fallen. Fifteen thousand dollars, and and Link is actually more or less at the same price, okay, um, and and that I, I, this is one of the reasons why I, I like Link is that it does it does improve your your risk adjusted returns. Now, with that said, that doesn't mean we're going to have some face melting rally imminently. We do know that that Link does best when Bitcoin is going sideways, not down. And also it does best when Bitcoin is going sideways above the 20 week moving average, not down below the 20 week moving average. So there are some differences, I, you know, I would say between, between like outperforming Bitcoin and actually going on a, on a crazy rally. But I, I would argue that we are seeing further evidence that Link can perform well. It just, it does this thing where it, it goes off in its own little world and it, it doesn't care about the entire asset class. And in fact, it likes to do whatever the other, whatever the rest of the asset class is not doing. Okay. So I am bullish on Link as always, but I've, I was bullish on it in 2021 and it didn't do anything consequential. 
Um, I, I mean, for full disclosure, I made a video back in in April or May, I think, of, of 2021, you know, theorizing that Link would do really well in the summer if Bitcoin stays above the 20 week SMA. But Bitcoin didn't stay above, you know, it, it didn't stay above the 20 week SMA. And, and so we ended up coming back down. So then that one that, you know, that prediction did not age well at all. Um, so, look, my 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 outlook on Link right now is, is not that it necessarily has to go on a, on a in like immediate rally to one hundred dollars or anything, but that it is showing strength when the rest of the market is not. And I, I think, you know, you could you could easily come up with an argument as to why it is a good coin to have in a portfolio. OK, now going over to to where it currently is ranked, it's currently sitting at number 16. I'll remind you that if we go over to um, historical snapshots, so let's go look at a historical snapshot. And, and actually, I want to I want to go over to. Um, 20 uh 2020 so we're gonna go to 2020 we're gonna go to like what like august 15th of 2020 chain link was in the top five right i mean the market cap of everything else was tiny i mean ethereum's market cap was only 48 billion the price was at like 433 dollars but look at this like link was at number five in, in the entire asset class back in August of 2020. And then since then, it has precipitously dropped very far down. You know, I mean, it kind of seems crazy when you look at it, right? Like if, if I had to pick one coin that just seems like it's undervalued in the asset class, I would, I'd say Chainlink seems pretty undervalued. Why? Well, I mean, look at it. Like, I mean, like in, in August of 2020, Link was at $19. It's, today it's at only $26. In August of 2020, Bitcoin was at less than 12K. Ethereum was at less than 400. Like Ethereum is up like, like 8X since then. Link is barely up at all. I mean, Cardano was at 13 cents. I mean, <laughs> 13 or 14 cents. And now ADA is, is almost 12 or almost 10X above, above that level. And I sit here and look at Link and say, well, you know, like if you hit, if you had to pick the one that is just simply not done what you would have thought it would have done in 2021, I, I would argue that it, it would have been Chainlink. I mean, I mean, even XRP went up like 3x. Or I don't even know what it is now, but um, 76 cents. I mean, even a, even XRP went up two or three x. Even Litecoin, right? Even Litecoin did something. I mean, let's not spend too much time on Litecoin, but. I, I do think, you know, Link deserves a spot much higher up than um, the number 16. But for full disclosure, I've said that for a long time and it's been moving down. OK, so I'm not I'm not trying to say that, hey, if it goes up now, I was right, because I mean, clearly over the last year, it is it is underperformed my expectations. All I am saying is that when you look at, at where the asset class was about 18 months ago and then where it is today, Chainlink seems to be like the one cryptocurrency in the top ones that like you would think that it would be a lot higher than it is. And it, it just hasn't made that move. And, and so, again, a part of it is just crypto is cyclical and, and, you know, layer ones were all the talk for 2021. And unfortunately for Chainlink, it's not a layer one. So it was not, I mean, it was not included in that, um, but we'll see what happens, right? We'll see what happens as we head into 2022. We, we did say it's decision time coming up in a video earlier this week for Chainlink, the link Bitcoin valuation, um, you know, where it was and, and saying, look, guys, if, if we're going to break out, we're, we're coming to a decision point against Bitcoin. We're coming to a decision point against Ethereum, even against the US dollar. We're actually getting to the 20 week SMA. So what I'm thinking right here is not to assume that, Bit, that, that Bitcoin is, is necessarily going to hold at this level to allow Link to go on a parabolic rally, but that what I am saying is that Link, I do think, is proving itself to be a nice addition to a portfolio to help, to help sort of offset losses when the market is, is bearish, right? And then if, if Bitcoin can recover 
above its 20 week SMA and go sideways or something, then again, we know that's the, the, that's the time that link tends to do the best. Okay. So hopefully you guys like the content. If you do make sure you subscribe to the channel and give the video a thumbs up. We also do the premium list into the cryptoverse.com. Thank you for tuning in. Subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye.